Four Ways to Pray About Anything in Every Situation by Lynette Kittle, read by Leah Martin. Today's Bible verse is Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. Over the years, I've been growing in my understanding of prayer and how God wants to have an ongoing dialogue with me throughout the day where I'm accessible to Him in every aspect of my life. Through prayer, I invite and involve God into my everydayness. So let me share with you four ways I've been learning to include prayer in my daily life. One. Seize the moment. Instead of telling people, I'll pray when someone asks for prayer, my goal is to take time to actually pray right in the moment because it's easy to forget. Also, when someone asks for prayer, it reflects openness on his or her part towards God, something that may not be present later on. Sometimes the simplest of phrases can touch a hardened or hurting heart. Psalm 49.3 reassures me that God can help my mouth speak words of wisdom. Even if words are awkward and don't come easy, or if they flow easily, I trust God to give me words to speak that will encourage, comfort, and touch hearts. 2. Let God Lead Scripture states, As a child of God, I'm to be led by His Spirit. Romans 8.14. Doing so helps me in so many ways, such as recognizing when someone is open to prayer, situations where prayer is needed, and how to pray. In asking the Lord to guide my prayers, I find myself praying in new and unexpected ways and places, trusting Him to lead my thoughts and prayers. Letting God lead also frees me from things such as feelings of self-consciousness and trying to impress with well-expressed words or phrasing. Psalm 25, 6 states that the Lord guides the humble in what is right and teaches them his way. 3. Take time. When someone asks for prayer through an email, Facebook, or Twitter, take time to respond. Find a few minutes to send or post a thoughtful response to requests for prayer, trusting God to minister through your words. Even with all of social media's issues, there are still opportunities to bring a refreshing word. Like Proverbs 15.23 states, A person finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good is a timely word. Four, be available. Let God know you are available, willing, and asking Him for opportunities to pray. When you do, commit to being on call to pray 24-7, along with being open to surprising situations. Unexpected opportunities in my life have included praying with a stranger, outside an amusement park ride, during a Christmas party, on a crowded airliner, in a store's checkout line, and more. Like 2 Timothy 4.2 urges, I aim to be prepared, in season and out of season, ready to reach out to others. Hey everyone, thanks for listening to Your Daily Bible Verse a production of the Salem Web Network. If you enjoyed what you heard today, we'd love for you to head over to iTunes and rate and review our podcast. It really does help people find us. This episode was produced by our managing editor, Kelly Givens, and recorded and edited by Stephen Sanders. Be sure to come back tomorrow as we examine more of God's Word.